Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper in corner. We have Rancor starting as the Brown Zerg. Bottom right in corner, we have Masuchi starting as the Blue Zerg. This is Fighting Spirit Mania, round two, game five. Or sorry, set five, game two. Rancor taking the first match with that Zergling Flood. I'm wondering if he can take a, another set right now if Masuchi can. I think Masuchi also doing a little, potentially an early GG last match just because he has a lot of leeway to work with. Overlords. Scout's not going to be advantageous for either player. Actually, ZVZ. Two-player map. Vastly different than... Also, I need to, before I get any further recount... Or recant previous statement. I think previously I said that ZVZ potentially has more build orders than the other matchups. But consulted Jayun, who is in... By the way, check out his channel. Asked him, between ZVZ and PvP, what he felt had more variation in playstyle. And he said, oh yeah, uh, PvP definitely. So from... Someone who would know definitively. PvP, the most variation of play. But I still feel like after seeing these matches, I've really gained an appreciation of just all the different things that Zerg can do. It looks like we are seeing. So initially, Masuchi going for a, a cancellation. We are seeing yet another 9 pool. But it looks like. Are we going to see a 12 hatch here? Or sorry, 10 hatch. We're seeing a 10 hatch from Masuchi. Rancor might just get an auto win here. This is one of those things. Where, oh, so the spawning pool is going to be significantly later. The larvae are going to be there. But Rancor should be able to just get more Zerglings out there. and just As long as he can recognize what's happening and recognizes that it's a 9 hatch, or I guess a 10 hatch, rather than a 12 hatch, he should be able to flood Zerglings that direction and end up uh, winning the game. We'll see. It also depends on scouting. So I think he knows that Masuchi's not in the upper left corner. You can see already adjusting that Overlord there. So it's, it, now the question is, is as a follow-up, so Overlord spawned, oh, that's going to delay this a little bit, which is going to hurt. A little bit of delay. Is he only building four? No, he's not. He's not building in. Oh, man. So he didn't opt. So he's going to do that quick layer play again. So fast layer. No Zergling speed whatsoever. And let's see if he builds an interior something colony. In the meantime, spawning pool is here for Masuchi. So Masuchi is going to want to follow this up with some Zerglings of his own. So he's going to have the larva advantage he's going to have two bases to cover though and keep in mind that the natural expansion isn't really as critical the, the mining patches aren't as critical because it's just such a small economy game just getting the drones out there in the first place it's critical to get the geyser is really when it is capitalized on so the big advantage of that hatchery is just pure larva a creep colony being dropped and an overlord now cycling towards the south to potentially scout things out and this is going to be a lot of Zerglings making this direction. If there's already six out, this is going to be eight total. And ten to follow, or so two additional to make ten to follow. Zergling speed is being upgraded. However, Lair is now done for Rancor. So if he can go ahead and drop a Spire and just defend this, he will have air superiority over the long haul. Drone already in position to go ahead and drop that Spire. It's going to drop it to the north. This is very tight seal. The drone's... To the south have these zerglings nearby to try to provide some defense and actually it looks like Masuchi with those zerglings opting to put a defensive ring around his ramp and actually holding up short still just now getting the zergling up to get that scouting information that should trigger response from Masuchi right now Rancor up in both drones economy and tech the zerglings pushing forward to potentially blockade that ramp Spire just about halfway finished. So if Rancor can just hold, stem the tide, if he can just hold on, he will end up being okay in this match. 12 Zerglings and more to follow. Big Flood. So now the next question is, is will Rancor be able to find the Larva? So he's got Overlord spawning. Is he going to find the Larva to be able to get that any sort of Mule Scout? This is a huge amount. Is he going to need a second, sun, uh, second Creep Colony to try to defend this? Zerglings are pressing up the ramp, dying. There is a bit of a hole. Masuchi now finding room, and that is a lot of Zerglings taking in. And this creep colony is going to be too late, I think. This is just too many Zerglings. So, Rancor... Yeah, they're getting on top of the drone lines. This is interrupting all sorts of mining. Rancor does have Mulos to work with. He is spawning that sun colony, but more Zerglings coming. Now can he hold on? He just If he can micro these drones well enough... Maybe he can just hold on and stay in this match. That Sun Colony is wiped out, but no, it looks like Masuchi just has too many Zerglings. Now working on that Spire, and the Mutalists still have not, still haven't spawned. So it looks like Rancor is going to end up losing this match to just overwhelming Zerglings from Masuchi. Quick one.
which is exactly what I was looking for as far as a nightcap commentary. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening. <laughs>